Welcome to MN's video tutorial series. In this video, you will learn how to utilize MN's Express Studio Audio Board. The audio board is located in each of MN's Express Studios located on the second floor of each respective location. The audio board features a variety of source inputs. These inputs consist of things such as microphones, CD or DVD players, an iPod, or even the Mac computer. To begin, you first want to make sure the Stereo Master is turned on and raised to zero. The master controls all the individual source inputs. So if this is not turned on and raised, you will not be recording any audio into the recording device. Next, you want to begin setting up your individual audio inputs. For instance, if you were to utilize the Mac computer, find the Mac input on the board, turn it on, and raise it to zero as a starting point. You want to try to keep your levels between minus 12 and minus 18. Next, you want to prepare other source inputs. But before you do that, be sure to turn off any inputs you've already set. Do not lower the lever. You want to keep that where it is so that when you need it, it's already adjusted. So next, if you want to adjust a microphone input, find the label that indicates you are adjusting the correct microphone. Turn it on and raise it to zero as a starting point. Now, once you raise it to zero, you will see your audio levels again, but be sure that the levels are where you want them. In the case of microphones, you have the ability to add an extra boost, and that boost is called trim or gain. You can twist this knob to the right to increase the gain on the audio. Now, gain is a superficial audio boost. So you don't want to raise this too much past one or two o'clock as it will create audio noise if you raise it too high. Only use gain if necessary. Usually this is in the case of individuals with very low voices. That is how you utilize the audio board in Eminem's Express Studios. Thank you for watching.